بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما Okay the next thing we need to understand uh, something like unicast broadcast multicast let me give an idea so basically in a network we can have three different types of communications in any network so in ipv4 especially the communication process can go either unicast uh, broadcast or multicast now unicast is like one to one communication one device sending a request to another device one to one like one person talking to another person only two persons are involved like this user uh, sends a request to the printer to print or send a request to the web browser to get a web page and that particular device is going to reply so basically it's like one to one communication we call this as a unicast whereas when we say broadcast now broadcast is nothing but one to all just like um let's like if i'm sitting in a hall in a big hall and um i'm conducting some lecture so everyone sitting in this hall can listen to that so i'm actually broadcasting so the broadcast is nothing but everyone can listen within that particular domain within that particular region or within that particular uh, space like in the in a classroom so similar way in network also you will have a broadcast communication where one device sends a request it will be received by each and every one within that particular network so we call this kind of communication as a broadcast communication so generally in the lan uh, broadcast do happens so we'll talk about more uh, how exactly or when when what are the scenarios the broadcast happens in your network especially in your in your ethernet networks when we get into the switching concepts now these two are like uh, common unicast and broadcast so the last one is like multicast now multicast is a one to a group so sending a packet to a group of individuals just like if you take an example of video conferencing applications let's say you are going to make a conference call and in that conference call only the group of people who have joined that particular conference basically they can listen so like here we are using some online meeting software to basically to uh, to join the class and the people who are using that link basically only those people can join the class so it's not for everyone it's for set specific people now similar way there are some some uh, scenarios in the network also where you may want to send a specific traffic or the specific packets to selected individuals so in the production networks there are different types of applications we have like if you take any of these examples of any broad, uh, corporate broadcast messages or we are using some online distance learning or even live tv you watch some live tv or a radio broadcast on your computer or any kind of video conferencing applications or video on demand applications or websites so basically these are all the examples of multicasting so in order to host uh, this kind of multicast applications so they will be using a special group address so generally that is referred as a group address and that group address will be used in the range of class t which is reserved for that so basically multicasting uh, there is a big concept actually so when you get into some cci classes or in some advanced topics you will be seeing how this multicast works and basically how you can enable the multicast on your network so probably at this point of time this is beyond the scope of the exam but you need to understand that the multicast uh, in multicast where there is a group of individuals joining a specific sessions and only that people can listen to that and to enable those kind of applications at the back end you will be using a class d address for multicasting which is reserved here okay so three types of communication unicast is one to one where i'm sending a request to one device and that device is replying like a normal ping command you can say or any other uh, web request or you are accessing a remote device using telnet these are some of the examples we'll be seeing as we progress with our classes a broadcast where one device is sending to everyone in the network everyone will receive whereas multicast only a set of individuals or a group is going to listen to that particular uh, message